My name's Martin Reed, and I'm a maritime archaeologist at Plymouth University. And we have been asked to help to recover some of Plymouth's heritage that was being destroyed. So part of the key wall, that commercial wharf, was failing. It was starting to bow out and would have collapsed. There was cracks appearing in the uh, tarmac surface of the wharf. So that had to be uh, restored. So they're um, taking the wall down and will rebuild it without the bow, without it bowing out. And behind, behind it we found uh, 17th century uh, ceramics for, or pottery from uh, the Mediterranean. Um, so we uh, organised with the contractors and Plymouth City Council to carry out an emergency dig um, with the Plymouth Archaeology Society and uh, so it's very much a rescue uh, dig um, so the material is coming out and then we're going through it rather than a full excavation with trowels and everything we're having to do what we can and we're finding lots of pottery both from North Devon and Somerset but also Germany, France, Spain, Portugal and Italy and even as far as China we've got a few fragments of Ming porcelain, very few. Only the highest people in levels of society had this so Drake is recorded as having porcelain and it only came from China at this period. So the, the fuller history of the site there's two stories here one is the Vitlin Yard. The Lamhay was the original Vitlin Yard for the Navy in Plymouth. So they supplied the Navy with bread, biscuits and uh, barrels of salted beef. Um, the Lamhay Yard was founded during the Commonwealth in 1654 and was here until 1830 when they moved it to uh, the Royal William Vitlin Yard, which was far more convenient for the Navy, which by then was based at, uh, uh, in the Hamoes and the Dockyard. Um, and the, the Lamhay Vitlin Yard was a tenth of the size of the Royal William Yard, and that shows the, the growth of the Navy and their supply needs between 1654 and 1830. The site then became a commercial wharf, hence the name Commercial Wharf. Uh, the building that we were excavating was a warehouse which was leased to the Vitlin Yard by Plymouth Council um, until 1830 and then became a commercial warehouse. But it was only knocked down in 1930 when they widened the road. Um, but what, when they built the key wall, and you can see it's been um, propped up behind all those bags over there, um, they would build the wall at low tide and then they would throw rubbish behind it. And it's that rubbish that we are excavating. So this is the rubbish of the town. So we're finding their table wares, but also their cooking wares. We're finding their clay pipes that they've broken. We're finding beads from their necklaces, from their um, decoration. We're finding the food that they ate, oysters and butchered animal bone and even one cod bone so far, but they're very hard to spot. Um, so it tells us about the life of ordinary people in 17th century Plymouth.